Hey, hey, welcome back, friends. When last we left off, I was talking about how much I loved this game. I think the gaming company that makes this, yes, is called Frictional Games. Kind of like fictional, but, you know, with physics. Because <laughs> it's a physics-based game. Good, I wasn't thirsty anyways. Thank you. This is like really good music. This is putting me at ease, which means something's probably about to jump out. That's usually how that works. This is kind of weird though, like that wall pattern does not go with tile floor. You know, that's more suited for the bathroom. This should have been carpet. That's what that should have been. What the hell? That TV is clearly on. You know what? No. That's just a random noise pattern that they put on everything. All right, let's click this. That's what it wants. There's something reassuring about that feeling. Like I've got one less thing to worry about. Traditional art. The only kind I really know how to appreciate. I don't know if that's traditional art. A chart of some kind. Get out of my way! Okay, you can't move that chair. That is bolted to the floor. No power. Aha! Figured it out. Although the fuse box is rusty and worn, it seems to be working. Oh! Fix it. Nice. Good. So it must be the other one. Got it. Incoming vi what? I just fixed the power and you're already calling. Wow, you look like you've crawled through a sewer to get <gasps> here. I suppose I'm flattered. Hi, Are I'm Are you Amabelle. real? Amabel Swanson, and I suppose I'll be your guide for the day. You have the hottest voice Hello? I've ever heard in my life. Can you hear me? Yes. I think the transmission's only one way. Duh. I've got a webcam. Pull a silly face if you can hear me. <laughs> oh, very attractive. <laughs> okay, we're on. There's some things you need to know. I'm all ears. Sure. Whatever you say, lady. Shut up, Satan. We released a virus. It wiped us out. Three weeks ago, we tried to get out through the mines, but it didn't work the way we'd planned. I think one of the Inuit workers made it, but others were taken. Some panicked and got lost. I ran. And when I stopped, I was on my own. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. Uh-oh. The only chance we have is a Deja man called vu? Howard. He said he'd found a solution to the virus. His vitals last registered in the library, but only members of the organization have access. I'm still seeing a few life signs in the residential quarter. You need to find a survivor and get through into the library. Oh, and look out for our medical guy, Richard Eminis. He was acting strangely when I last saw him. All right. So if we find Richard, what don't else trust. Don't you know? Let's see. Watch out for signs of infection. Accounted for. <gasps> did did you say something? Look, the symptoms we know about are paranoia and oral distortion. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. You just said that. Enough already. My sides are splitting. Am I infected? Well, is that I what this think is? That's everything you need to know. I'm sending over some research on the virus, and I'll get some doors open for you. Thanks. Maybe now we can shoot the shit. Oh. She wanted to chat, like about life in general. And for some reason, she got cut off. All right. <clears throat> the Turn Guide Virus Field Notes by Annabelle Amabel Swanson. Infection process. The worst thing about my job, death helps us learn. Time frame, five weeks. Location, honed up in the old mess hall. Research subjects, three archaic personnel who contracted the virus. With every infection, the process, the life cycle of this virus becomes clearer. In addition to the already documented symptoms, there seems to be some final stage during which the organism fully takes hold. Just before becoming fully catatonic, the infected report strange out-of-body experiences. They've likened these to being chased through a series of their own memories, some kind of mental obstacle course. Uh-oh. These reports inevitably end in the patient being swallowed by some inescapable dark force. 
shortly after which we lose them for good. So like the worm tries to eat everybody, but like I just I happen to get out, so is that what that is? If these experiences are, as they seem to be, some form of mental representation of the infection process, we can only theorize as to what might occur were the patient to escape the hallucination, like I did. Additional note, today Dr. Imanis confided in me that he has just such an experience, that he has had just such an experience. He insists that he feels better than he has in months. I'll keep an eye on him. Alright. Duh. She had a webcam, dude. She was gonna shoot the sh... You know what that means. When a girl has a webcam and she wants to shoot the sh... Usually means... You're about to find out she's a guy. Infected. I'd skipped a beat when I heard that word in association with me. Still, it seemed like just one more reason to find my father. Hearing a friendly voice hadn't hurt either. But by that point, I was pretty certain she'd turn out to be crazy. I kind of got that feeling, too. Okay. If we must continue to share this brain space, I think I should have a name. Uh, strange. What the? So rare an opportunity to select one's own nomenclature. And yet, I find myself at a loss. I can crawl. Any ideas? Monkey. What the hell? I hope like a name box pops up and I get to choose so his name. Storage in this mind of yours. I'm gonna name him C. Did you realize you got an entire section in here devoted to Can you pills? Three thousand one hundred and three and a half pills you've seen? That's it? You only got the first half of it's a wonderful life in here. Huh, how does it end? Now I'll never know. I don't think I've ever seen It's a Wonderful Life. You know, Clarence, that's not a bad handle. I Can am something of a guardian angel. Clarence, really? That's the name you pick? Like, out of all the cool names. You could have picked Balthazar? You could have picked... Nyarlathotep? You could have picked a bunch of cool... Am I still crawling? I'm definitely crawling. How do I stand? Oh, got it. <laughs> it's control. You picked this biggest sissy name I've ever heard in my life. Whoa, hang on. Is this where I came from? Clarence. <sighs> this place is big. Oh, what's this? The infirmary. The door won't open and there doesn't seem to be a lock. ID 3061. Here we go. Good. This flashlight drains batteries like nobody's business. Hmm. Oh, the library. Where am I? I am at uh, the infirmary. Which does not seem to be... Oh, there it is. Number one. Okay, to get to the library, I do this. Hang on. Okay. If I open this, there's gonna be like a bad guy there, isn't there? Because they were trying to keep that shut. Oh, good. Savaged, infected, terrified. And now I was hearing voices. Yep, just about everyone down here turns out to be crazy. Even me. Regardless, I needed to find a way through and into the library. So I went back to where I had just came from. I have a new event invite on Facebook. Let me just check out and see what that is. I am invited to... The Great Pre-St. Patrick's Day Party. RSVP. Yes! You jotted down a note about what? Oh, the scanner. Not recognizing you? Optisec. Optisex. Wait, what? The door won't open, 
However, it seems to be connected to that scanner device. All right. Machine room and the library. Deal. Uh, all right, friends. I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. I better not move. Something's going to happen, isn't it? I'm, I'm going to pause it here. Subscription is in the top middle. Next episode is in the top right. Hope to see you there because... Progress. That's all I got to say. Until then. Ho-ho!